welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video any building noises in the background i do apologize we have all hands on deck getting this renovation going i feel like we're going to have a bit of a transformation with this house over the next couple of months into the new year especially as myself and tom are going to kind of be out of their way for a couple of weeks over christmas so hopefully i'm going to come back in the new year to a house that is looking very different but anyway i've had a delivery this morning so i thought i'd unbox it with you share it with you it's still quite early so it is a little bit dark outside it doesn't look it on camera though so that's good um but i thought i would share you those share with you those bits and then i'm heading into manchester today for an event i've got like a lunch event with youtube um or google and google and um and then i've also i want to go to primark beforehand so i'm gonna get there nice and early hopefully it's nice and quiet usually is that's always my trick with going to a primark to to do any kind of haul or vlog or anything with primark get there early and get there midweek if you can because it's the only time in my opinion to go so anyway let's get unboxing these cherries at boxes they are very kindly sponsoring today's video and they have also given me a discount code for you guys so if you are new to cherries you can use the code ff25 to get yourself 25 percent off and free shipping that does have a minimum spend of 20 pounds and then i also have a discount code if you are already an existing user of cherries you can get free shipping with the code FF that does expire so make sure to check out the T's and C's in the description box below. I'll also leave a link direct to them so you can check them out. Let me go grab the boxes and I'll talk to you a bit more about what I've recently picked up. Oh I already know I'm going to have a big clean up job on my hands after unboxing these boxes with you because I've got so many of their amazing new festive range. So if you don't actually know what Cherries is and you've not heard me talk about it before, it is an app and online website. I use the app personally, but they do have an online website as well where you can shop to drop because they have everything from household essentials to pet items, things for your kids. They've got food, they've got cleaning stuff. They've got a lot, a lot of nice home decor pieces and a lot of Christmas things at the moment as well. So I'm just gonna dive straight in. Everything is really reasonably priced as well. How gorgeous is this stocking? So that's the first item. They've also got these stockings, oh, with the little pom-poms. You know, these are quite good to gift people as well to get them more as like a gift bag. I've got this glittered pine cone pick. These would make good kind of table place settings. Maybe a little bit big for that, but down the center of the table as well. Christmas tree wax melt burner. And they also have some Christmas gifting sets. So we've got some beauty items, some amazing brands included. We've got simple skincare treats. This has some sheet masks. If you're buying for someone who's a bubble bath lover, I really just think Radox is for its price. It's amazing, it creates the perfect bubbles. So yeah, I've got that one which has some bath salts in it as well. They do Tresemme, this Protect and Perfect gift set with shampoo, conditioner, a heat protect spray. Oh, and then obviously the bag as well. And then the last of beauty sets I have to share with you is this from Dove. This is their favorite selection. Again, with a beauty bag. Oh, this is lovely. It's just laid on top, that's why I've just seen it when I've taken the tissue paper off. How gorgeous is this? It's from the brand Heaven Sends, and it is this minimal pine, pine cone twig wreath. They have a tea light advent calendar with a different scents of cinnamon spice, shimmering pine, apple cinnamon, cozy by the fire, vanilla, and gingerbread they're all the scents that you get included i've got some christmas chocolates how could i not i've got some quality street good classic and then this one i've never seen this i don't know if it's new this year but dairy milk have an advent bar now if anyone has managed to have that little segment one of those a day then i would be impressed because how can you not open a bar of chocolate and just have one tiny little piece I don't know. We'll see if I can actually manage that. I might even get a good old classic Cadbury Advent calendar because they are, they're just the best. Um, I also got this three in one squeegee. See what I mean? You can go from Christmas to squeegee. And there's some other cleaning supplies that I always tend to get from cherries. The bigger, bulkier items like these fairy pods, the vermouth pet hair dissolvers. If you've got pets, this is just a game changer. I absolutely love it. But you're gonna get three sachets in a box so i've got four of those another essential to stock up on that you're not that bothered for going all the way to the shops for doggy bags i got this from beanies this christmas variety pack of what flavors have they got yule log gingerbread pet 
peppermint candy corn, mince pie, Christmas pudding, and orange and cranberry. I love these so much. How nice are they? Salt and pepper, stag shaped set. Oh, I just love that. I also got this wax melt burner that they've got. I've never seen one like this before. It's just plain glass. Very minimal aesthetic, minimal vibes. How interesting i needed some more hanging strips i've got um some tissue paper as well in fact i got a few loads of tissue paper this cute little hanging decoration a little felt style with the wooden beads and then they do the acacia wood lidded jars this is from heart of the home brand and you guys know i'm obsessed with these they're like zara home dupes essentially i found a few along the way and cherries now do them too very much a christmas classic cranberry sauce. I've got one of these star tea light holders. These are like white company dupes as well from a previous year when they used to do that kind of mercury stained glass. A classic. Tom and I were talking about this the other day and I was like, do you like Horlicks? And he was like, yes. So I said, you know what? I'm going to buy some because I haven't had Horlicks in the longest time. Oh, I got another one of these lidded jars in the tall version. And then are you ready for this? I have saved the best till last for sure. These the rose. Oh my goodness. I wish you could feel how soft they are. So soft. They're like dupes of the big Zara home one that they do for like over a hundred quid. So affordable. And that affordable that I picked up too. I got these colours because they're the ideal kind of colour to go over our black sofa. This one's in light camel and this one is in tan. They do have more colours as well but these two well, my fave, we've got a golden retriever. And like I said, to put on our black sofa, we've constantly, I've constantly got throws. And also it's just throw season, isn't it? There's nothing cozier than an evening getting cozy watching TV. I've got to have a throw on me. I've just got to. But yeah, that, oh God, that was a loud clap. That is everything that I picked up from Cherries. Don't forget if you want to check them out to use my discount codes and make sure to take advantage. I feel like we're going to get on the road, drop Barney off at daycare and then head over to prime morning. I actually haven't had any breakfast this morning. This is gonna be my breakfast. I just grabbed this from the petrol station. Water and a breakfast bar. I haven't had one of these in so long. I've gone for a Nutrigrain apple. 69p. Anything I do pick up from Primark, I will show you guys when I get home this evening. I still haven't been since they've got like the majority of their Christmas stuff out. So I'm actually really excited to go have a good browse. I am heading into the city centre one in Manchester and I believe I've read online that they've got some kind of new area, new section with a load of pre-loved items, like a kind of vintage stand i think it's like a concession within primark i don't think it's owned by primark but um so i'm not thinking that the prices are going to be primark prices but we'll have a look i have got an amazon delivery coming as well at some point today when i get back home i will show you those bits as well i did have a spray tan yesterday as well actually i don't know if i'm looking a little bronzed more bronzed than usual but i had a spray tan with secret spa and um sienna x tan which have like kind of collaborated secret spa if you don't know it's one of these booking platforms that you can book at home appointments beauty appointments from I think waxing nails all sorts um spray tans as well so I'm feeling a little br more bronze than usual but I quite like it I think I might actually book in again mid-December I've got a night out with um some girls we're gonna have like a wax Christmas do seeing as though we don't work in an office we were like let's make a conscious effort to like a book a table go out and we're actually going to a place called a new place in manchester called monkey house i think it's called i think there's one in london so it's going to be like dinner into drinks type evening so yeah i might book in for before that in december anyway without further ado let's head to primark let's see what they've got and let's get our shop on Christmas way Soon 
in the car i'm just trying to do my seatbelt up my parking has just ended so thankfully i didn't get charged just shot some outfits with lydia and i'm going back now i've got more content to shoot this afternoon and i've also got um well i've got to pick barney up in a couple of hours actually but um yeah the youtube event was really really interesting we had a bit of a presentation some talks about the platform in general q a's like we were talking asking loads of questions bringing loads of things up so it's really it kind of i was saying to lydia when we came out it feels like a it's one of those meetings that we go into and doing our job most of the time we're by ourselves at home with a camera so it kind of feels a bit more justified meeting the guys from google from youtube them asking us questions because they want to know like insight from our side to the platform and anyway yeah just really really interesting and really useful primark was good as well actually it's getting better it's getting slowly but surely away from the whole neon trend which is welcome because i felt like the last six months or so basically all of summer as well pretty much just one big colorful blur that wasn't a bit of me so slowly but surely they're getting some nice cozy knits in lots of creams and browns and the homeware is really good loads of christmas stuff so i did pick up a few bits didn't go crazy fit in one more primark trip before christmas i'm not sure but for now i'm going to um head home and see you guys when i get back home ah, all time just you should wear interesting because i didn't get a chance to show you earlier i was going to show you outside but it is so windy outside and blustery and it's gone really dark so i feel like a storm is brewing which i'm not bad about i do quite like a storm and um, anyway yeah i just got a basic black tee on these are h&m trousers they're so comfortable and the belt that i've got on as well is h&m my blazer is zara i always really rate the quality of zara blazers so um yeah went for black today got my anine bing trainers on and then i have my black crossbody chanel bag i'm actually going to take my shoes off i only kept them on just to show you my ootd because i just can't wear shoes upstairs especially after renovating it's one of those things that i'm like quite precious about so i'm a hypocrite basically gosh i look quite blonde in this light i've had my hair done recently um just had some more choppier face framing layers put back in and also brightened it up, but it is very bright at the minute. She always puts a tone on it as well, so that tends to fade, fade out. Okay, so I do actually have a couple of white company dupes, which I'm gonna save for a video for next week. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on seeing what those are. Let's just dive straight in. I got this mug gorgeous mug this isn't just a christmasy one this is like an all year round one very zara home vibes it's kind of like a muted stone kind of color with like a texture to it it's got speckled detailing on it it's just a really nice mug just a good classic mug this one was only three pounds they've got the whole crockery set to go with this like bowls and plates and everything got myself another one of their room fragrance scented sachets <laughs> Oh, I was going to say one pound, gone up to two pound. I'm pretty sure they started at a pound, then went to a pound fifty. Now they're at two pounds anyway. These I love. So this was three pounds for a pack of two. I did only get two on this occasion because I feel like it's one of those things that we feel so far away from having a dining table and any kind of kitchen setup that I just like I don't want to over purchase. However, I might regret this future years. When next Christmas comes around, I might be like, oh, if only I'd have just bought more of those Primark napkin rings because now they don't sell them anymore. And then I got this pack of four little ceramic houses. So adorable. You guys know I love collecting little white houses like this for Christmas. Ones with tea light holders in, ones that light up, ones that are wax melt burners. And now I've got little ceramic houses that are actually tree decorations. I got two of their new scented reed diffusers. Now these reed diffusers are only 80p each. So I always think they're a good tester as to whether or not you like the fragrance before getting the big Bigger ones and so I decided to pick up both of the fragrances that I spotted both festive Christmas 
which here's hoping that it's a dupe for the next festive Christmas scent. And then this one sounds lovely. This is in the scent Fig and Frankincense. How nice does that sound? Only 80p each. I'm not gonna lie, these never really look the best out of the packaging. They're not anything special to look at, I'll show you one. So sometimes what I'll do is if you get like a bud vase, you can just pour it into a bud vase. So you get the scent and you've obviously got the reeds in here as well. Although this isn't too bad actually. It does have Primark on it, Primark Fig and Frankincense. Okay, clothes. I've got these trousers from the Edit range. Um, these were in a size 10 at 18 pounds. I think I've got these in a different color, although I have to say it feels more of a satiny fabric, this one. But how nice is that chocolate brown? Oh, I do love chocolate brown. I know I'm wearing black today. But I just feel like brown is a little bit softer for my palette than black. Black can be quite harsh, but anyway, um, in a size 10 at 18 pounds, those ones. And I also got the matching, again, from the edit range. And this time in a size 12, I got this trench coat at 27 pounds. It's quite thin. It's definitely, I would say, more of a dress, dressier kind of jacket that you throw on going out for dinner. You know, you're not walking around outside much. You're literally just going from the car into the restaurant, that kind of thing. Or obviously like when it warms up a bit or in the transition, the autumn transition. Although I haven't said that. Haven't we had some quite warm weather for October and November? I know it's starting to get a bit colder now, thankfully. It's like 18, 19 degrees in October this year. It's so strange. It's nice and long. It feels a lovely quality. And actually for the edit range, 27 pounds for a coat is a pretty good price point. So usually, why do I say price point? Why not just I say price? It's a really good price. Yeah, for the edit range, which does tend to be a little bit more expensive, I thought that was quite good. And then the last of the, oh no, I've got two more. Um, two more? Two more clothing items, but the last, <laughs> it's not the last of the edit range either. Next item, I've got this satiny kind of shirt and I love this because can you see it's a real creamy colour, it's not white at all, so again nice and soft, would actually go quite nicely layered under this, I just cream and brown are such a great combo, I love it, so yeah I really like the shape of this shirt as well, if you can see it's quite a larger sleeve, like very relaxed, loose fit and this I got in a size 14 at 18 pounds. I also did get one other item from the edit range in that color. It's kind of like a cross back. Can you see that? It's like a ribbed um, kind of knit. It's honestly a lovely fabric. I wish they had more stuff in this fabric. So it's just a basic, I'm assuming like the cross back and everything, you could go with like a strapless bra or even just braless because it's quite thick material. This was the only small left. There's no price on it. I think it's this one, 14 pounds. Yeah, yeah, it is 14 pounds. And it's got that same kind of silhouette here that Zara have been doing. They've got a lot of um, satiny dresses, night out dresses, party dresses with that shape as well. They're clearly duping Zara, the Zara ones. The last clothing item that I got in medium at five pounds. It's just a basic tee. I quite like the motif on the front. Saint Moritz, 1822 Skiing Club, Switzerland. I'd love to go to Switzerland. We were talking about potentially going to Geneva at some point. The only thing is, I think Switzerland is pricey. And with us doing up the house, I don't know, I just feel like I want to put my money into the house rather than traveling. Is that sad? I know a lot of people would be like, no, no, travel, create memories. But I honestly, my home is such a happy place for me that to get this renovation done, I would rather prioritize that than going away. We've talked about maybe going to New York in the new year as well, but again, we were gonna go this side of Christmas and I said, look at the prices. It's literally triple the price. So we might go maybe, I don't know, when does it start getting warmer in New York? May time, something like that? We'll see. But anyway, speaking of renovations, they are cracking on today. So I've come into this room because my filming room, they're doing like the outside bits so that they're literally by the window so i thought let's film in here so they don't think i'm crazy i did get this i said no more home items the rest are home items i got this print and i got this one because there were quite a few but this one to me i thought looked far nicer than the other ones i'm kind of a bit like meh about the quote how lovely are your branches it's just a bit whatever um 
I'd have preferred it if it had just said Merry Christmas maybe. But anyway, I just love that tree design, very simple. Do you know what would be really nice? And I know some people would think I'm crazy saying this, but to have a real tree, which when we have done the extension, we're planning on being able to have two trees. We've got our Balsam Hill one, which will go in the main front bay window. So like as people walk past, it's nice and big and grand. And then I'm thinking of having a real one in the new extension area. So like a different themed tree. But how nice would it be to just have a plain tree? Is that crazy? It's probably a bit crazy. Or even just super minimal decorations like glass baubles so that they're so subtle or even just like all green baubles like dark green baubles maybe i'm crazy maybe next year we'll do something like that um but yeah this was only two pound fifty and i love the wood on it as well it's that that kind of like wood that i've been loving got loads of kitchenware with that wood on like wooden lid and storage jars and everything and this one actually speaking of that colored wood this is snowflake trivet where have I seen this? I've seen this somewhere else. H&M Home maybe, or Zara Home. If I can find an image, I'll leave it on screen. Oh, that's come off. But it's a double trivet. This has got stickers on it. Gosh, should I take them off? Yeah, we'll take them off, shall we? Put your hot pans on when you're cooking. <gasps> My camera just stopped recording. I don't know if it caught that. I've just broken it. Oh, why do I do this to myself? I might take that back, you know, because I really do like this and I, I do want to have this. It was five pounds. So I was pushing them out. That blooming snowflake in the middle has just broken. Right, we're definitely taking another trip to Primark now. That's my excuse. The last and um, Final item that I got, it's probably one of my favourites actually, and it was just kind of sat on its own. So I don't know if I got lucky finding this or if I just missed wherever it was that they were kept. But it's a two pack of these like jute stars. How nice are they? You wouldn't look at that and go Primark. For me, I'd look at that and think Home Sense or a kind of independent homewares interior brand online, like a smaller business or something but not Primark. I just love this. It's how much? For the set of two, it's 10 pounds. And I would have these set kind of one in front of the other. I've got some white ones, which I have in my filming room currently. And that's how I have them out, like in the background of my videos. If you saw my gift guide videos, you may have seen them. So anyway, that's everything that I got from Primark. Let me head towards the builders section and see if they've gone so I can show you the Amazon parcel I came home to. Hmm. I feel like it's a bit dark in here. So I mean, I've got to put my ring light on and it's just so obvious. These are the stars I was talking about, by the way, in my filming room. How nice are they? And this is from a lovely girl called Jess from Art With Feeling on Instagram. She created that for me, I love it. I'm gonna go back in my bedroom because I don't want the um, builders to catch me. Let me go grab the Amazon bits and I'll show you what I got from Amazon. Okay. Ugh. Right, first thing, a little beauty item. Picked up this from CND, shellac polish. How gorgeous is that colour for winter? It's called Oxblood, I think. Yeah, Oxblood. Probably my favourite of the Amazon purchases. I have my very own barber jacket. I decided to get this one. It is a men's one and it is in a large. And to be honest with you, Tom tried it on and it's not far off fitting him. He probably could do with an extra large. But um, I just, for like looking outside now, where it's so like dark and miserable, a good winter wax jacket, I just think is the best. So this one is actually like a, is it black? No, it's like a really dark brown, I think. And it's got the corduroy collar, the typical barber check on the inside. I think I could talk Tom into getting a barber jacket. And then who knows, may even convince him to get Barney a matching one too. So he's in need of some new Ugg slippers, which I got him. These going straight in his Christmas stocking, straight from Ugg. He already has this one, but they're just so tatty and old. So I decided to just refresh him with a brand new pair of 
the ones that he liked previously. They do have um, other colours. I was tempted to go for like a navy because he loves wearing navy. However, for Ugg, I think that good classic chestnut colour, you just can't be. So then I picked myself up some boots. I'm not gonna keep all of these. I'm just gonna do a bit of a try and decide which ones are most comfortable. But this first one is from a rental Marco Totsi. And it is a nice chunky pair of khaki, but like a matte dark khaki green boot. Kind of duping the Zara ones, I guess. And it's got a zip, so I know that I won't struggle too much to get them on because these kind of boots can be really tight around my calf. I've got these in a six and a half. I'll leave all these items linked below if you want to shop anything. I've got my Amazon storefront. If you do see anything that you like that I've bought from Amazon in the past, it should all be on there. I also got these. Now this one is from Gabble. Just wanted a kind of like low heeled boot that was a kind of riding style boot. And then these are similar but brown it's like a mulberry ready kind of brown i really like it actually and i think that kind of color this is from the brand geox by the way this color or more so of like the burgundy deep red is i'm seeing that quite a lot recently but that is everything that is everything that i want to show you i feel like it's been a heavy heavily haul based vlog as far as vlogs go. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Don't forget to use my discount codes for cherries if you're new to cherries and have never used it before. I'll leave a link to it below along with the discount codes and the information that you need. But you can use FF25 to get 25% off and free shipping. Or if you're an existing customer, you can use the code FF for free shipping. Enjoy guys and let me know any finds that you've made yourself, any purchases, new purchases that you're in love with share them all with me as well because i like to see what you guys have been buying too don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this a thumbs up if you do enjoy them and i'll hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys